Buckle up, ladies and gents, because I'm about to be a villain in the HSR world. And it's starting out with this video again. Well, not again, but this video. And then again later on this week, because I do have a video planned that's going to be funny. And uh, yeah, well, not funny, but more so me saying my piece in regards to, you know, certain things. I'm not going to go into details yet. I want you guys to be ready for it. But anyways... Today, we're going to be talking about a condensed version of the 2.6 special live stream, going into details about what I thought was good, what I thought was extremely bad, and, uh, you know, what I think about this patch. But before we get into that, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Don't forget to check out Gamersubs. Use code TYSTRA for 10% off, y'all. I'm just saying, Gamersubs keeps making bangers, and oh my gosh, we just had the uh, Senpai problems drop happen. I actually got a shirt early, which was fantastic. I'm not wearing it right now, but it's a great, great shirt. I'm just saying. Use code Tyson for 10% off. Ooh, that's good. Today I'm rocking the caffeine-free two scoops of brand risk and one scoop of dragon fruit punch. So, hell yeah, brother. But anyways, let's talk about the Hawkeye Star Rail special live stream. I'm honestly not a fan of the live stream. I did not think it was that good. And I'll tell you why, because we're going to go over the events of the start before we get into the actual like well we're gonna go over like the three things that happen now first things first this is going to be a filler patch i know that a lot of people don't like hearing that and it probably activates the things in your brain and triggers some stuff where you're like it's not filler hawkeye star rail doesn't have filler this is filler a lot of people thought that 2.4 was filler uh no 2.6 is actual filler now is filler a bad thing? Not always. Not always. I don't think filler is bad in a lot of things. Like, if you think about anime, some of the fillers are not that bad. Some fillers are the Mount Saga and freaking Bleach, and that was bad. But there's other great fillers in anime. However, I think that this patch is going to be filler, and it's just not that impressive. And we're going to get into why. But first, they had a little skit at first. We're going to this, you know... Uh, university of sorts in Penacone. And that's cool. I don't want to go to school. I'm not here to go to school. But, you know, this is just me because I'm dumb. But outside of that, the skit was like going around the campus and interviewing uh, different people. And March 7th was a main person there. And it was like, okay, they do a skit every time for an HSR live stream, or at least that's what it feels like. And I didn't mind that. I don't mind it. Guys, I really don't mind when a gotcha game has a live stream and they do a skit at the beginning. That's just, that's a palette, you know, starter or palette cleanser, whatever you want to talk about it. But it, I don't think that's bad. But what I do think is bad is after the trailer, which the trailer was good. The trailer was kind of fire. Not crazy good but i thought it was okay afterwards they had the robin bird the robin paper bird and the albert paper bird chirping now i might be exaggerating for how long this was but it felt like about five to seven minutes of just the bird chirping with little jokes but i couldn't tell those jokes because i just got annoyed i got really annoyed by that and i understand that a lot of people are like Tystra, it's because of the VA strike that's going on right now. I understand that. And you know what? That is perfectly, perfectly fine. This isn't the first time that Hoyoverse has done something with no VA work done. I think it was um, the, uh, what's, I think it was Genshin Impact's live stream. Yeah, Genshin Impact's live stream had two playtesters, I think it was, or like, I can't remember, but those two were there instead of VAs and I understood that like that like I understand there's a strike however there's better ways to go about it I honestly would have just taken Albert talking to the VAs that did decide to go to it and then just leave it at that that's what it is like it is it stays right there but the bird chirping just because you wanted Robin there in some way shape or form that was unnecessary and it was annoying so that are, that put me in a bad mood going into the live stream. So we're going to go over everything again, and we're going to talk about what actually occurred during the live stream after that. So first things first, we got Rappa coming out. She's going to be imaginary erudition. 
Uh, she's going to be a great unit from what it seems like in regards to pure fiction, but I don't think she's going to be a needed unit. So to me, I think that wrap is going to be a skip. I might still summon for her because I need video. Um, but like, I think that honestly for new players, she's a skip. However, what isn't a skip is the reruns that were announced. This was huge. We're getting Imbibitor Lune in phase one as a rerun. And then phase two, we're getting Akron and Aventurine as reruns. Acheron still being one of the best units in the game, it makes the most sense to run her right there in a dead patch because then people will still summon. I even told my roommates about Acheron coming up and they're going to summon. They're probably not going to spend money because they're free to play, but they're still going to save up their gems and summon for Acheron, which I don't blame them. And Bybiter Luna is still a really, really good destruction unit, top tier in my personal opinion, but some people might disagree. And then Aventurine is a great preservation unit and a lot of fun so i think that this was the first win everything else so far in the live stream was kind of an l outside of the trailer the trailer was cool but this was a win and i think that they knew that this was the best way to go about it because this is going to be the most bang for the buck you're going to go for these banners like acheron adventuring and imbibitor lune and then you go into 2.7 with sunday and ting yoon five star oh my god hsr is going to make money this is a huge W for the, you know, Honkai Star World players and for Honkai Star World themselves. Brilliant. Mazel tov. We got, you know, the new stuffy stuff. So we got new light cones. Um, I believe... Uh, what did... Yeah, okay, so this is what it was. The Sound Hunt Ninjutsu inscription event is going to give you the Ninja Record Sound Hunt light cone, which is a brand new light cone. Um, and Dreams Montage is a brand new summonable light cone. That is a four star followed by the ninjutsu inscription dazzling evil breaker, which is going to be Rappa's light cone. So kudos. That's awesome. We got returning light cones in Imbiber de Lune's Brighter Than the Sun, Acheron's Along the Passing Shore, and Adventurine's Inherently Unjust Destiny, which are all really good light cones in general. So very happy about that. Phase one banners. Again, we're talking about Rappa and Imbiber de Lune with the four stars, Zhui Yi, Lynx, and Yukong which are pretty good four stars. I, I don't think that they're the most amazing. Um, Yukong being a harmony unit is outclassed by so many harmony units now. Uh, Link still being, uh, I think, the best four star healer. So that's fantastic. And then Zhui Yi being an amazing destruction unit at four stars is really, really good. Then we got, you know, Akron and Aventurine's banner, which leaves a little bit to be desired in the four star department with Sampo. Sampo's not bad, but Sampo and Nihility usage is not that great, um, especially when you pair him up against Pella, who is still considered top tier for the four stars, followed by March 7th, which is great because if you're looking to get yourself a C6 March 7th, you could go for C6 March 7th under the Hunt Path Imaginary, and you'll be all set. So there you go. I think the banner's okay. Um, definitely Phase 1's uh, four star banner is better than Phase 2's, in my opinion. Um, but... You're, it's basically, to me, saying Pella and Hunt March 7th versus Shui Yi, Lynx, and Yukong. Now, we keep on going down here. We got the banners for the Light Cones, which I don't really much care for. Um, but we do have the event. Sound, Hunt, Ninjutsu, Inscription we just talked about, which you act as the band manager and complete musical challenges to gain limited time rewards, which is basically like, you know, weird Guitar Hero, right? I don't think that's a bad event. I think it's going to be like, okay, this is kind of a resident sleeper event. Um, but that, that it is what it is. Uh, then we have the Shadow of the Ranger, uh, which is the Boot Hill event that we had before. But we're going to be seeing Rappa since Rappa is a Galaxy Ranger. Send your characters on special event assignments to, gain, to get additional rewards. It's a freebie event. I, I, I'm not mad about that. I almost spilt my gamer subs, by the way. I'm not mad about that. I think that that's okay. It is what it is, right? Then you got Mr. Coldfeet's pop-up shop, which is Sampo uh, as Mr. Coldfeet. And it's basically going to act like the Lieben event from Genshin Impact, where you turn in certain materials, you get certain rewards. So to me, it's like these are the three events right here, the three major events that are happening. And I, just, I don't know, man. Like, I'm happy in the sense of like there's not a lot for me to worry about and I can focus on the other gotchas. But at the same time, HSR, you're putting out all these banger five stars and you're barely giving us any events that being said though there are there is a couple things that we still need to go over 
And first things first, we got obviously Planner Fisher. It's going to be happening for double the reward drops in Simulated Universe. We got Garden of Plenty, which is the Calyx double drops, which is cool. And then, of course, Gift of Odyssey, because HSR just loves to make us say, get you could never, right? So that's just it. We got new Pentaconi areas that, that were announced, which I think is all right. I still need to complete the rest of Pentaconi and the Lofu. I'm a little bit behind, right? So we got a continued story, which is going to go over uh, Rappa's involvement. They got a guy in there that looks like Zhang Li a little bit to me, but evil. And I think that's pretty cool. We got new relic sets, which I did read over them before, um, but I don't have the notes up here with me. Um, I'll, I'll have to pull them up later. But uh, Sa Sacerdos, uh, ah, that's such a weird, Sacerdos Relived Ordeal. There we go. Uh, and Scholar Lost in Erudition, both new sets, uh, which seem pretty decent. They're not like crazy. I think if I remember correctly, uh, Revealed Ordeal is a speed set, while Scholar Lost in Erudition is a crit rate set. I could be wrong on that, so my apologies if I am wrong, but I'm just going off of memory. This is where I kind of got a little upset, right? The events were whatever. I was like, okay, there's not a lot going on, but they revealed this new enemy before that. And it's not really new. It's just the same enemies from Pentaconi before, but they have a monkey face in the TV screen. I don't know, man. I think it, <laughs> monkeys and bananas kind of takes a, uh, uh, a, a little thingy in this, right? But I just don't, I don't know. I thought this was dumb. Like I'm going to be straight up honest with y'all. I thought this was dumb and you know, they could combine into it. Like it's a mega Zord type thing. They're power Rangers, but monkey mechanical things i just don't i don't care i don't think that this was it man that's just my opinion and people will probably get all upset and say like oh it's monkey embrace monkey trust me i have i have the gorilla hat i embrace monkey but this just wasn't it but what was it and this was the thing that i found the most hype was we're getting another simulated universe that's gonna play a little bit differently now first things first the fact that we might see the actual real herda right here is fantastic because this leads me to believe that there will be a five-star herda and she's going to look like a freaking adult right and people are going to be like wow tysra what the ill but i'm just saying like people sexualize the puppet girl and i'm just i'm not into it but if this is going to be the actual herda like it's looking good so far, but this is just the concept art. I don't know. We'll see. New game mode for Simulated Universe called the Unknowable Domain will be added during version 2.6. In this game mode, Trailblazers will obtain combat buffs centered around scepters and its components. They can equip these scepters to gain offensive effects and charging conditions that can be met to deliver powerful attacks on their enemies. So kind of like what, um, I can't remember which one it was, but there was a combat event where you would have like attacks on the side happening at the same time it's like that and i think that's cool i like that as a possible event plus it's another way to get you know stellar jade which we absolutely need especially with these banners coming out if you're an akron fan if you're an imbibed lune fan if you're a ting yoon fan if you're a sunday fan adventurine fan all five like five out of the six banners are in my opinion great summonable five star units one's just wrap up no offense to her right um but yeah, I thought that Simulator Universe update is it's always good. I think Simulator Universe is one of those things that I could play and just not get tired of it. You know what I mean? So that's just me though. But we did get another Simulator Universe update, which I think is huge. So it looks like from now on, old event light cones will be available in the Herder shop. Does that mean, and it, this is my question, if you've already obtained them, do you get another set? Probably not. But if you do, that's actually pretty big because then you don't have to worry about keeping one on or one between like two or three units. You could have two between three and that I think that works out. So I don't know, but this is a huge win for players that have been missing these event exclusive light cones that you can't get anymore. Huge win. I think that's great. Now we also are getting a new, uh, <laughs> a new stagnant shadow, which is, you know, it comes with every new character, right? So that's nothing new. Otherwise, 
I thought 2.6 wasn't that great. Uh, the biggest wins for me, right? Uh, the rerun banners, right? I think the reruns are sick. The reruns are just insane. Absolutely insane. And then Sim Uni getting an update. And then this. Otherwise, I think that the overall live stream was just dookie. I don't think it was that great. This, In my opinion, this live stream was the worst of the HSR live streams. And trust me, I've even told people like the live streams that they call crap. I was like, you know what? This honestly isn't that bad. It really isn't. This one, and if I feel like collectively a lot of creators think this, this was the worst of the Hawkeye Star Rail live streams. Now, people might still think it was good, but I don't think anybody can argue that this was the worst or this wasn't the worst because this was and i've been here since i've been with Hawkeye star rail since the beginning right now does that mean that Hawkeye star rail is in trouble does it mean that i hate Hawkeye star rail no i'm just absolutely going to be 100 percent genuine and critical when i need to be and i know again that the bird chirping led me to really not like this live stream but presentation is key if you're going to do a presentation and add little gimmicks to it, you better deliver on those gimmicks being good. And this one was not it. It really wasn't. It sent me into a bad mood for the rest of the stream. And my chat knew. My chat could tell something was like off. And, and I was just like, yeah, I'm just not feeling it after the bird chirping. I think that was the most annoying part of it. So, I don't know. But I'm also not going to sugarcoat it. I'm not going to be like... I'm not going to be this guy that's going to lie to y'all and say like, oh yeah, the live stream is great. I can't wait to hear more of the bird chirping and, you know, all the stuff that, you know, it just seems very dry. Like, man, I love me some dry turkey. No, you want the turkey to be juicy. You want to be able to bite into that and just, mmm, it's good. And this wasn't it. This wasn't the juicy turkey. This was uh, this was dried turkey that was in the freezer, right? Disgusting. So, but yeah, I don't know. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Did you like this live stream? Did you think it was great? Uh, or do you, were you like me and just kind of got annoyed after a little bit? Let me know in the comments down below. It was y'all. That's going to be it. Love you to death. And as always, we'll catch you in the next video. Please take care and be safe.